So I got an email yesterday from a real estate buyer who said, Nicole, I was out. Um, I wanted to look at this property. I reached out to an agent and I think it was just a random buyer agent that they got off of whatever, um, a website. <clears throat> and that agent said that, you know, they'll show me the house, but they want me to sign a contract. Do I have to sign a contract with a real estate agent? And so this is a multifaceted answer. The, the short answer is no, you don't have to sign a contract with a real estate agent to go look at property. Um, it really just depends on uh, how that agent operates their business. Everybody does their thing a little bit different. Some agents will show you a bunch of properties without being in a contract. Some absolutely will not. Um, you know, and there's great reasons for it. Some people will do it without a contract because they, you know, it's just not important to them. Some people won't do it without a contract because their time is very valuable. And to me, that's that's understandable. You don't want to be driving a buyer around and not have that contract relationship with them. Um, you can waste a lot of time on a buyer who winds up not being loyal to you. But again, that's up to the agent. So let's look at what a contract actually does. Before you have a contract with a real estate agent, you are considered a customer. And as a customer, an agent, I'm just gonna use a buyer agent as an example because to, to list a property, you have to go on, into a contract. So as a buyer agent, um, as a buyer agent who is showing you a property without a contract, they have to um, act fairly, obey the law. If they, if they know a material defect with the property, they have to disclose that to you. Um, if they're, is an opportunity where you would like them to write up an offer for you on that. They're absolutely able to do that without a contract. There are limitations in that. So the limitations are that they can only perform what we call ministerial duties. And that is um, they can relay facts, they can fill in the blanks on a contract and um, basically account for any monies that are exchanged. And that's pretty much it. Now, when you have a contract, that means that you are now a client and you're owed fiduciary duties. And basically, the, um, it boils down to an agent has to put your best interests ahead of their own when you are in a contract. Let's look at when you're in a contract or let's look at when you're a um, buyer of real estate, what are your best interests and what are an agent's best interests? So a buyer's best interest is going to be getting the right price, um, negotiating you know, contingencies well, making sure that they're you know, well represented on the lending side. What's an agent's best interest in, in working um, and selling a piece of real estate? Maybe not necessarily being in a client relationship. A lot of agents are, you know, their best interest is paying their bills, making sure they're, they're making enough money. So you, you kind of, without that contract, almost have adverse interests. So that contract makes sure that your interests align and that the agent is then protecting your best interests. Also, without a contract, an agent cannot give you advice. So if they're filling out a contract for you without, if they're filling out a purchase and sale agreement for you without a contract, um, protecting your relationship they can't tell you oh you know here's here's what I would do or you know here's what you should offer here are some contingency examples here's a market analysis you know here's here's comps to support this they can't do any of that so if you're just out kicking tires and you want an agent to show you um, property that's one thing and there are agents out there that will do it but if you're a serious buyer who you know is looking to get the best terms the best price um, you know and have your best interests protected a contract is going to do that for you and that's the, obviously the legal way to do it so that's the long answer to that question so the other thing I want to talk about is old school pricing rule we are seeing so the market is kind of leveling out a little bit I guess we're still getting um, we're still getting some some really hot hot action on properties um, but we are also seeing properties that are sitting on the market and i'm going to refer back to the old school pricing rule which i just had mentioned to um, some clients of mine last week and that is two weeks on the market with no offers means a price reduction or two weeks on the market with no showings means a price reduction um, that's the old school pricing rule if you are on the market for two weeks that and i mean this this rule goes back 
100 years, whatever, 10 years, 13 years. Um, it's just that, uh, you know, if you're, if you're on the market, you're not getting action. Unless you are a very, very unique property, uh, that's the rule. Um, so that's all. If you have a house to sell in Southern Maine or New Hampshire and you're interested in the value of it, please send me a message below. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, all of my information is below. If you enjoy this video, enjoy the education that I try to spread to people, please give me a like and give me a subscribe. I would really appreciate it. You guys have a great day.